Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate follow on Twitter using Socinator. Following targeted users is one of the most popular methods to gain new followers by making people follow you back. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. We are under the Follower tab because we want to follow users on Twitter. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to follow a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in a process. You can find users who have the same interests and follow them and avoid those who don't meet your Twitter preferences. There are several configuration categories for follow activity Let's begin with the first one, which is Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to follow. There are two important sections in the Search Query, Query Type, and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the Query Type through the drop-down menu. It is subcategorized into several different types. Once you have selected your Query Type, Enter the query in the query box either manually by typing in this area or import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Then click Add Queries to the list to add them in the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input foodies in the query box and click Add Queries to the list and it's added. Socinator will use this query to search related profiles. Twitter mostly returns profiles which are having this text in usernames or profiles. One important thing is that search results for keywords are very low on Twitter, so you won't be able to find a lot of users. So only use it when you are looking for highly targeted profiles. The next one is hashtags. Let's input hashtag dogs and click Add Queries to the list, users who use this hashtag will be followed. For location users, enter using this format. Keyword, colon, city, colon, country, colon, distance. So let's say keyword is games, colon, city is Tokyo, colon, country is Japan, colon, and the distance is 15, for example, and click Add Queries to the list. So this will target users with these location specifications. Next is near my location. This time, you can input keywords. Let's say dogs. Click add queries to the list. And it will target the users who use this keyword and are also near your location. Next is custom users list. You can search through specific profile link or username. For example, you can type Elon Musk and click Add Queries to the list. For someone's followers, let's input Elon Musk again. Click Add. So the app will target Elon Musk's followers. For someone's followings, still with Elon Musk, click Add. So this time, it will target the users Elon Musk is following instead. For followers of someone's followings, Say Elon Musk. The app will search and target the followers of the users Elon Musk is following. For followers of someone's followers, click Add. So this will target the followers of Elon Musk's followers. For users who like tweet, we need a specific tweet. Let's say this one. So click more, copy link to tweet, and paste it in the query box and click add. So this will target all the users who like that specific tweet. For users who commented on tweet, let's use the same URL, click add. So this time it will target the users who commented on that tweet. Users who retweeted tweet, still with the same link, click add. So it will target the users who retweeted that tweet. Finally, we have user scraper campaign. So for this one, we can copy the campaign ID from the campaign section of User Scraper Campaign and paste it in this area and click Add. 
you can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button over here at the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to remove keywords. Let's click and it's gone. And that's it for search query. Let's go to the next one. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should follow the users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 22, medium with 50, fast with 75, or super fast with 107. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings, delay between each operation, is the number of seconds between each Twitter user is followed. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after following the number of users you set in number of follows per job. Number of follows per job will allow you to specify the number of Twitter users you want to follow per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to follow per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max follows per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep following users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. It is also important to manage the number of people you follow at a certain time. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Twitter Follow. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and clicking Twitter Follow. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to follow on Twitter. For example, the user should have English characters only in their bio and username. Next. You can specify the minimum number of tweets of the user, let's say at least 10. Next, you can also specify the minimum and maximum of the user's followers as well as followings. Speaking of followers and followings, we have follow ratio which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input the follow ratio greater than or smaller than a specific number. Next, you may also specify the minimum number of characters in the user bio, let's say 5. Speaking of user bio, you can specify the words that should not be in the user bio, username, or name. So check this box and type the words in this area. Let's say you don't want to follow users who are into politics or government. So separate each word with a comma. You may edit or delete using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file, must not contain for example, and click open. And it's uploaded successfully. When you're done, click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. So words that should be in the user bio or username or name. So let's check this box and type the words that you want to target. Let's say users who are into pets, cats, or dogs. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button. Select the right file, pets for example, click open. And it's uploaded successfully, click save. So this will follow users who have these words in their bio, username, or name. The next one will allow you to specify how active the user is. So user tweeted within the last, let's say, one day. Next, you can also skip followers. So if you check this box, it will target users who are not following this account. Next, check this box if you want the user to have a profile image. 
You may also skip private users, muted users, and filter user based on verification. So you have the option to skip verified users or those who are not verified. The next tool is after follow action. This allows you to add actions after following a user. So the first is to mute the user if you don't want to see their tweets after following them. Next is to like the user's latest tweets. Specify the number of tweets you want to like as well as the delay between each like. You may also retweet the user's latest tweets. Again, you may specify how many retweets as well as the delay between each retweet. Finally, you can comment on the user's latest tweets. So you can say, awesome, for example, or cool. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. And when you're done, click save. If you check spin tags, then it will randomly select one of these words. You can specify how many comments as well as the delay between each comment. The next tool is other configurations. This includes enable auto unfollow, which allows you to stop follow tool when reaching a certain number of followings or when follower or followings is smaller than a specific number or when the follow tool gets temporary block. You may also start unfollow and stop follow with the same specifications, depending on your preferences. Next is save pagination. So in the case of pausing campaigns, if you resume the campaign, it will continue scraping from the page where it was left off. Finally, accept pending follow request. So this would only apply to private users and you can specify the number of follow requests per operation. Finally, the last configuration category is manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not follow the blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can be either a private blacklist, which is actually a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start following Twitter users, let's scroll up and hit save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating follows on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to grow followers tab and make sure follower is selected at the left side of the app because we want to follow Twitter users. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter follow. For the search query, let's target users who use this hashtag, hashtag dogs. For job configuration, an average daily activity, so 22 should be okay. So let's select slow. For user filters, let's target English speaking users. Skip private users and user has profile image. For after follow, let's like the user's latest tweets. Let's say one, two, five. For other configurations, it's up to you. And let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, we can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. Since this account already has configuration settings for follow activity, saving these new campaign settings will override the previous ones. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our Twitter follow campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.